I'd like to start off with tomatoes, the cherry bomb tomato. Now this tomato is supposedly resistant to late blight, vigorous hybrid, indeterminate plants produce high yields of uniform vivid red fruit. Vivid. Oh, looking forward to that. Cherry bomb has a classic cherry flavor, firm, sweet, and well-balanced. Don't we all want to be that firm, sweet, and well-balanced? Yes, we do. Maybe we can all, you know, try and be like the cherry bomb. <laughs> oh, how I crack myself up. This tomato is equally suited for snacking, well, duh, and harvesting. Well, what else would you do with it? Feed it to the chipmunks and squirrels? Matures in 64 days. Oh, boy. So I'd like to tell you about, let's see, it's only been five days. Uh, can't count today because it's not a full day. So five days, and I have 100% germination rate on these cherry bomb tomatoes. <clears throat> I planted six, and all six are up. Yes, they are. And I added something special, but not to these. Now, the reason I think I have 100%, they're heat-loving plants. The seeds like warmth. They like warm soil, which is why I have them over there on my high-powered lamp, my grow lamp. It gives off a little bit of heat because it's, it's massive in size, humongous. And uh, it puts off a bit of heat, so it warms the tray beneath it along with the seedlings and they are just all coming up over there yes they are i'll talk about the other things on another video but the cherry bomb tomato oh yeah they the bomb i am always amazed by seeds and how well they grow on to broccoli rab now this one was up in three days these seeds are really old 2018 folks Yes, and I have very good germination rate on these. Perhaps not the best picture overall to show you, to showcase my broccoli rab, who is winning the race, so to speak, at the moment. But this was three days in. I'm amazed at this plant at 200, 200, 2018 year old seeds. So, to explain, this delicious vitamin-rich vegetable is easy to grow, producing a very large head that is convenient to harvest. Plants are highly productive, can be grown as a spring or fall crop. Enjoy fresh or frozen, raw or steamed. 60 to 80 days for germination when started from transplants. So, you know, you got to figure in the time it takes to get your seedlings up above the ground, to, to have them be born, and to have them be strong enough to go out as transplants. Yes. The only problem with uh, this is we usually, it's really odd here the last few years in Canada, we go, in Ontario, we go from winter to spring to like 30 Celsius and plus like boom boom so yeah they're hard to grow without uh going to seed but if they go to seed folks then you have more seeds not a big problem if you have more seeds oh hello there broccoli rab you are five days old look at you grow yes how do you like the windstorm i provided for you get you ready for the good old outdoors you five-day-old precious broccoli rab that you'll probably wind up being moth butterfly food for. But hey-ho, one can always hope. Now, I must say, I am equally excited to grow Chinese cabbage or pak choy with white stem, this package says. Uh, it is uh, this handy, helpful and delicious crop is easy to grow and ideal for small and large gardens. Plants thrive in cool weather. By planting different types of maturity dates, you can enjoy cabbage for weeks. All are delicious when cooked or eaten raw. 
Late varieties are also used for sauerkraut and storage. Yes, indeed. From the time you plant them out, they'll take about 60 to 100 days before you can harvest your goodness for soups. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to have that soup made with this pak choy cabbage. Okay, it tends to help when you push record. Hello, pak choy. You're trying to catch up with broccoli rab. Food time and gardener. Garden gardener. Say that fast five times. Added a fan. Yes, she did. She wants to strengthen you little fellers up. You're five days old, just like Buckley Rab. You came up mighty quickly. I'm very happy about this because I believe these were very old seeds. So they're still viable. So folks, when you have old seeds, don't count them out. They may actually do something for you. Sprinkle them around, and if they do, they do. And you're all the better, and if they don't, well... You're not out anything. You can plant something else in their spot. So the race is still on between Broccoli Rab and Pop Choi. We'll see who wins. Five days in so far. I thought I might want to show you my light system. <laughs> I don't have anything fancy. I have these uh, garage lights and I have it hooked. As you can see, S hook. I hold them up and uh, Keep them above without burning my little seedlings on this shelf. There's the other one. And uh, they seem to be working quite well. Uh, down here, the bunch of onions and the leeks are starting to poke their heads out. I have the fan going, so I don't want to remove. Can you see that? Looks like a little white speck in amongst the uh, other white specks that are in the uh, potting soil. Well, that's a bunch of onions, onions, and over there, there's white speck, a little bit bigger white speck. I believe that's leeks. Unless I got this uh, planter turned around and it's vice versa, but there's only two things in there, leeks and bunch of onions. Although, the bell peppers are doing nothing. Of course, they take a long, they take at least two weeks usually to sprout. And then I have over here the Sunray Tomatoes, Tomatilla, Beefsteak, Yellow Pear Tomato, neither one of those up, but nothing else is up yet. But I'm, oh, whoop, whoop, I see something picking its head out there, right there. So I can't find my finger, but it's right there. Oh, 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 there's another one. Where'd it go? Okay, it's next to the second one. Okay, it's hard to look through this cell phone and figure out where the heck you're pointing. Oh, big finger. Giant finger. Okay. Uh, gardener giant. There it is. And what's that? That's going to be uh, Camelot onions. Oh, I am exceptionally excited about these Camelot onions. Can't you imagine a castle with a moat around it and a lot of old trees and people in, in, in metal uniforms with swords and... Okay, I digress. Yeah. I'm a little weird. Anyway. <laughs> Camelot onions. This variety of red shallot produces uniform three inches across, two inches long, teardrop shaped bulbs. Now who doesn't want that? Because they typically uh, don't put the pictures on the um, on the packets anymore. They put a generic picture. The picture I got off of the website didn't do it justice. They are tear shaped but the picture got stretched so just imagine you know Camelot and beautiful red onions. Oh my goodness can't you just see those on your plate? I know I can. I can't wait. So here we go. Information. Continuing with the information. The dark red skin contrasts beautifully with the white interior. Very versatile. Don't we all want to be versatile? Good storage quality and ideal for fresh market sales. 
where the nice color alone will attract attention well into winter, 110 days before harvesting. Now remember, that's once the seedlings go into the soil. You can't count the time that you spend getting them to germinate and getting them big enough. Always remember that. Yes, indeedy. Ooh. Oh, there's one in the back. There's another one. Oh, they're coming up. Okay, so three are up. Oh, I have onions up over there. Oh, so more's up already. Oh, more's the better. There you go, little buddy. Five days in for everybody. I think. I have to look. No, 16. Okay, so six days. Six days in for these guys. Ah, can't get the lid back on. There we go. Progress report. So I thought I would tease you and taunt you and leave you with a little look-see at my homemade bread that I just pulled out of the uh, toaster oven. Yes, my regular oven is kaputz. So my toaster oven has to, you know, pick up the slack, which it does beautifully. And, um, yeah, I wish I could share it with you all. I really, really do. It made me some homemade strawberry jam, peach jam, scuppadon jam, any kind of jam will do. If you're not into jam, then butter. So, before I let you all go and say goodbye for the day, I thought I would let you in on a little story. I liked a container garden as well, and this big black tote had no lid, and it was frozen pretty much solid. So a squirrel, a couple of squirrels actually, decided to till my tote for me and try and get through the frozen soil, which they managed about an inch and a half to loosen up. And it looked like an excavation had gone on inside that tote. Well, I thought better, I better cover it over because I don't want to train them that that's where they're going to find food when there is seedlings in that tote. So I found the lid. Lord have mercy, I don't know how, but I found the lid in my basement, put it on, and covered it up. Yes, indeedy. So this uh, garden truck that I built many years ago, I had a homemade um, garden truck um, greenhouse topper made out of wood and plastic over top. I removed it and noticed there was a giant hole in the back of the plastic. Well, the plastic had gotten soft from sun. It had been a number of years. The sun depletes the plastic. All it was was a plastic, one of those dollar store plastic uh, clear table top covers you can get for your tables. That's all that was and I stapled it on there. Anyway, big hole. So I pulled it off and lo and behold they had gotten in there and started trying digging around as well in there to the soil. They couldn't dig as heartily as uh, the black tote because this had uh, the greenhouse cover on it. It had that green board and another white plastic thing on top of the soil. So they had to maneuver up underneath those things to get in to see if there was anything there. They are famished. So people, if you live in the north, don't get your seedlings out too soon unless you have it barricaded very, very well under arrest, more or less, because they're going to get in there and they are vicious. When I was watching them, and I should have grabbed my cell phone, but I didn't. I was watching those squirrels just viciously digging the, their hearts out, trying to get through that frozen soil. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but that was a hoot. Wait, bye-bye, little buddies. Bye-bye, folks. See you next time on Food Time and Garden. I can't help it, folks. I am just amazed by seeds. Now, next in line is the broccoli rab. Those are 200... Ay, 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 the beeping noise of my bread uh, timer. Ay, ay, ay.